How's it going YouTube? My name is Andrew Abbey and today I'm going to cover Lightroom settings using your tone curve, hue saturation and luminance. All right, so now uh, what I'm going to do is teach you how to use uh, this part of Lightroom. Now, I have two images here that I've taken from a model called Christina. Um, so we've already, I've already transferred these files over to my laptop as I did in the f previous tutorial and um, opened them into Lightroom. Now, um, what you need to go to need to go is into the develop section of Lightroom and now you can see here that um, I have opened my basic uh, editing tools and also the tone curve. Now uh, let's just start briefly with the basics. So um, we'll start off with this image first. Um, I think it's a bit too dark so let me just, let's just bring that up a little bit. Um, and a little bit on the contrast. Let's just go there. Highlights, we can, that looks okay. I think that's all That's all right. Um, the shadows, we can bring it up a little. Um, now, tone curve will probably affect most of what I'm doing already, but I just want you guys to see sort of what you can actually do um, by adding to it using the tone curve and um, later on the hue saturation and luminance so uh, let me just edit a little bit here with the whites and the blacks that looks okay and let's just add a little bit of clarity i won't play too much with the vibrance i'll just leave it at zero just to so you can see what i can actually do to colors regarding its warm uh, i'll just leave it as there's temperature um all right so now in the tone curve section as you can probably see here um, you can address different types of colors so you can just play with the reds, the greens and the blues. So let me just show you, you can sort of add something to it so you can sort of, it's sort of a different way of using split toning or as you can see up here, the tint. So I don't really use this feature, um, I just basically just do a a little bit of retouching on Lightroom and then I export it to Photoshop, but uh, Photoshop, sorry. So what I'll do is, um, I won't complicate things, so I'll just keep it down there and go back to RGB. Now this will affect the whole image in, in entirety, so um, you can also click on that little box here that I've just done, it, point next to point curve and it says linear. Now you have different, um, other options that um, you can also use medium contrast um, it sort of just gives you a basic layout on and you can start playing from there as you can probably see in the image it's starting to do something there um, it's really up to you but I like to start from scratch and do my own thing so you can also go strong contrast but again let's go straight to linear um, so I'll just bring this a little bit brighter. Now, what I usually do is I like to add this sort of like film look to my images. It sort of smooths, smooths out uh, a lot of things. So, uh, you can probably look, I'll just bring it up here and you can see that sort of film dusty look on the image. That's that's how you do it. So you just bring it over here and go up and you can see it makes it brighter. See, it's bringing up the exposure. So there's a fair bit. So some of these things on the tone curve are represented here in the basic settings. So you can start off with tone curve actually and then, and then go to your basics. I like to do it the other way around. Start off basics and, and then tone curve and then go further down as I need to. So you can see here that I am, I think uh, that looks okay. You can usually what people do is sort of like an S type figure. So 
what they'll do is they'll bring this down under the line and then make another point here so you can just add points as you see all right so i'll just undo that um, make another point over here and you can bend it here like an s now i am totally exaggerating <laughs> what the image is look looking like at the moment I'm, this is an exaggeration i do not would not edit like this so but it's just to show what it can do and so it's it's a good way to sort of you know break barriers and you can see what it sort of does it's really something that you just learn at the end of the day so you sort of find your own way on how to edit and then apply to it so i think that's a bit too dark but anyhow um now you know how to use the tone curve and the diff these um what what these sort of do so you can go to green and you can add more of a green tinge to the um, image bring it lighter again i would be using that but anyhow let me just undo that so um okay so i'll just delete so you just double by double clicking on those dots you can delete them so it just goes back to zero so in this image um you can also play around with the hue saturation and luminance now this is a powerful tool um i'll teach you a trick here so what you this is pretty much plays around with um the colors so if it well, it, does, it lacks red at the moment so I'll, i think i can add blue or yellow let me just see so you can see the grass there going a bit more yellow or greenish so it just looks for those types of colors um and orange will affect the skin so it's really um up to you what you want to do uh, regarding saturation, probably place a little bit, let me see the orange, so you can see the skin just going, wow, okay, she looks like a carrot there. <clears throat> so, um, I don't play too much around with these settings, but it's, but the luminance, luminance is, pr is a pretty cool tool, because if there's an area that I just want to um, play with, then bring it darker or lighter um, regarding its color, then it's a pretty cool tool to have. So you can see here that I can make the grass a little bit lighter or darker green um, by clicking on the luminance. So the way to do that, it's a, the cheap way to do it is by clicking on that, this little thing here, uh, see that toggle, that round thing? So uh, you can bring it over to the image and just select areas of the image so you can make uh i'm aiming for the concrete but you can make the the skin color like a little bit lighter brighter darker so it's actually a, a faster way of doing it also the greens and you can go to the whites and yellows and see i'll click here on the saturation one and it does the same thing so you just click on it you can make it darker, yellower, you can, you can, you see my drift. So, um, I wouldn't necessarily do this when making her black and white or absolutely no color at all. And some people like, I've seen some images like that. I don't do that, but anyhow, like you can pretty much do whatever you like here. So this is a quick way of playing around with these after setting your basic um, playing with your basics then you can after sort of uh, play with your tone curve and your hue saturation and luminance um, there are other parts here of this panel that you can play with um, you can make it black and white and it's sort of see the lips there that sort of by playing with the red 
they can go darker I guess that's because there's more blood in that area so um, also by orange so even using black and white you can you can make play with skin tones and and all that so you can it's it's a quite interesting thing to do it's a very powerful tool um, and if you go to color then you can start playing with the saturation in this I don't really use this much um, it, it's just a more complicated version of the HSL pe uh, panel so you might as well just use that like really like I don't see why you would use this more than anything so it's pretty much um, the same thing here but it's much easier so you just if you want to play with the luminance and then you just click there put the arrow on the skin if you want to make it darker or lighter and that's it so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial um, if you have any more questions uh, and require different types of tutorials or please put it in the comments and thank you for listening